I'm Reverend Paul Jakes, J-A-K-E-S. I'm the, uh, the president of the Christian Council on Urban Affairs, and today we are here joining uh, students, uh, faculty, um, uh, union representatives, community representatives, uh, and we want to make uh, certainly statements as it relates to the re-intervention program that uh, the uh, new chancellor uh, has implemented. Uh, we come uh, certainly uh, indicating that there needs to be open enrollment for our students, uh, there needs to be community participation, and there needs to be involvement by both teachers, students, in the selection of new presidents. I have taught in the city colleges for five years and have seen how poorly equipped uh, for college literacy are just too many students who received high school diplomas in the city of Chicago. Community college and city college teachers work hard to balance the education deficit, but new measures justified by sudden claims that we have failed are taking away from the quality of education our students need not so much to find a high-paying job which uses none of their critical thinking skills or creativity, and we can't even count on that in our mismanaged economy, but the quality of education our students need to become fully realized human beings who work to solve the critical problems our world and our city faces. Charter schools and charter colleges may serve a few elite students but they will ultimately reduce the education needs of the majority of working class, minority, and immigrant students. Placing corporate executives in administrative positions in education and the direction towards privatization is not what the city needs. We're out here to educate the public about what's really going on in the public schools and college systems in Chicago and demand, first of all, to be heard by the policymakers and, and uh, secondly, to, share, to have shared governance. Thank you. I'm a student at Wilbur Wright College and a member of Students for a Democratic Society. Um, we, the students have heard many times that the City Colleges of Chicago have a 7% graduation rate. And I'd like to uh, let the public know that that number is a lie, that it only represents 10% of the entire student body, which only includes first-time and full-time students. That percentage is conveniently leaving 90% of students unaccounted for. I'm a part-time student, and I'm part of those 90%. Because of that, I am still susceptible to all the changes and cuts being made under the reinvention project. These changes include hundreds of layoffs, uh, loss of important student programs and services, such as the nursing program, auto tech programs, tutoring centers, and developmental classes. The loss of our school colors and the taking of our City College of Chicago graduation ceremony outside of our communities. And the, in our reapplication process for six of seven City College presidents, many of whom have an educational background, unlike Chancellor Hyman and many members of the Board of Trustees. Changes also include less input from students and faculty. They, um, the Chancellor Hyman and the Board of Trustees keep telling us all these cuts and changes are necessary because of a budget deficit in the city of Chicago. But it's hard to believe we are in need of money when 50% new executive positions have been created in the past year within the district level. And these positions in no way serve the students nor ensures our, our academic success. I'd like to tell you all that the city colleges are not failing schools, that we are not failing, and that we are definitely not underprepared. We are underfunded. We have a right to an education, and we should not be paying for a budget deficit that the students or faculty did not create. And we demand a stop to the reinvention project. Thank you. The students of city colleges of Chicago, along with many faculty members, are saying enough is enough. A suit has been filed on behalf of the student body and an injunction has been filed. There's two things that have been filed. The injunction, we are requesting a review and restructuring of the selection process for hiring of senior level leadership positions, including, but not limited to, the Board of Trustees and the Chancellor. We are requesting an immediate removal of Chancellor Cheryl Hyman from her position, along with the Board of Trustees, and an immediate investigation into their gross mismanagement of federal, state, and city funds. 
We're requesting an immediate suspension and reversal of the reinvention mandate for the forced reapplication of six of the seven city college presidents. We are requesting an immediate removal of Civic Consultant Alliance's services to the, city of, to the city of Chicago, City Colleges of Chicago, and removal of all City Colleges of Chicago administrators connected to Civic Consultant Alliance and an investigation into their unethical business practices and dissatisfactory service and a disregard for the welfare of the students. We are requesting an immediate rehiring option of all affected by the layoffs connected to the chancellor's restructuring. We are also asking for an investigation into the monopoly of companies such as Bex, Follett, and Compasses, how they are allowed to give the students poor services and high prices with, uh, with no review. Or we are also asking for an immediate end to the forced usage and micromanage, micromanagement of the uh, federal financial aid book voucher system at Bex and Follett and the issuance of financial aid book vouchers on lowest interest debit cards. And we are asking for an itemized detailed account of the usage of the student activity fee and an investigation into the sabotage of the student government's use of the budget in accordance with Supreme Court decision University of Wisconsin versus Southworth. And we are requesting the SGA's control of their budget, of their Fund One budget and agency account and a reparation of 700,000 to be divided by seven campuses to be distributed into the Student Government Association's agency account. We are standing in solidarity uh, as an organization, um, as a group of uh, preachers uh, and pastors and local congregations, uh, standing in solidarity with these students and with these teachers, uh, requesting that the city uh, respond uh, and halt the reinvention process and begin to take another look at uh, an open uh, process, an open way of approaching uh, this problem. There will be protests. We will not stop. We will come together in unity during this time to support these students. We teach these students to stand up and to learn in a democracy. This is a representative democracy, and we intend to, uh, we intend to work with these students to ensure that all due processes have been uh, afforded these uh, students and these teachers during this time. Thank you. Uh, the City College for me was like head start for a preschool child. Not only was it affordable, but it prepared me for college. I graduated from Wells High School in 1952 at age 16, but my college entrance exam revealed that I needed remediation along with others graduating from the Chicago Public High Schools. We, we lacked many of all of the minimal skills needed to function at a college. After taking non-accredited classes at Herzl Junior College, I qualified for taking 101 classes and graduated in 1954. I enrolled at the Chicago Teachers College and attended part-time while working full-time, finally earning a B Bachelor of Education in, in 1963 and a Master of Education from Loyola University in 1973. Community colleges should continue to be available, especially for those students who have had such poor preparation in Chicago public schools. I'm the president of the student uh, government at Kennedy King College, and I'm also the chairman of the Student District Council for City College of Chicago. And uh, the student body of the city colleges, uh, we polled the student body a few weeks ago, and it's their opinion that um, the hiring of Cheryl Hyman serves as a symptom of one of the issues that we're having uh, with the city of Chicago, which is um, exclusion of the stakeholders in the process of choosing our leaders of our institutions that serve our communities. And uh, we also feel that uh, it's about time that the system changes. One of the fundamental issues that we find that we have is we don't have non-educators in the system uh, running a system that is meant to educate. Lawyers run, run law firms, uh, engineers run engineering firms, and we feel educators need to run our institutions of education uh, as well. Um, many of the people here are uh, not members of uh, city colleges. However, they came in solidarity uh, in recognition of the importance that, of, that city colleges, uh, the important role that city colleges plays within the city of Chicago. Uh, it's very unfortunate that we've been plagued with so many of these issues, and unfortunately we're faced with another issue now that is a and also a direct uh, symptom of um, the issues that we have. Um, 
non-inclusion of students in, in, in any of the processes, uh, non-inclusion of, of the faculty members, non-inclusion of the administrators. Uh, we woke up one morning and we found out that six of our seven presidents uh, are being forced to reapply for their jobs. And we also woke up to find out that there was a new president of Harold Washington, uh, Donald Lackman, whose uh, employment uh, comes uh, is, is a result of very questionable circumstances as well. So uh, the student voice, uh, we feel, needs to be heard. And uh, fortunately, we have people that are here backing us. And um, as it's been mentioned earlier, this is not going to be the end. There's going to be there are going to be protests, pro protests, and. Uh, Civil disobedience, civil disobedience has not been written, written off as a possible tactic. And um, we want and we demand a meeting with the mayor and the mayor-elect immediately so we can have our voices be heard and we can finally have uh, a feeling of inclusion in, 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 in the process. It's, it's, it's very important. Um, that's, that's, that's what we're looking for and that's what we hope, we, we, we hope to achieve. Um, City, New York, uh, City, City University of New York uh, has 480 uh, 480,000 students uh, enrolled across uh, 23 campuses. City College of Chicago has 120,000 students. That's the fourth of, a po of their population. However, uh, CUNY has 2.3 billion in funding a year. City Colleges has somewhere around 600 million. That's also a fourth in the funding. So we we expect that we should have the results that CUNY has, where you have students coming out of high schools who are. Uh, being strongly considered as uh, um, possible students for schools like Harvard and Yale, um, actually turning around and looking at CUNY as a possible, uh, a viable option for uh, getting their necessary college credits. And we feel that the City of the College of Chicago deserves to be in such a position. Um, everything runs on par, all the numbers and all the statistics, a fourth of the population, a fourth of the budget. Things need to be running just like that and better. And, 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 and the reason is they have educators running their system, and their system is four times the size of ours, yet it runs efficiently, it runs well, and this is because they include the people. They include the people in the processes, and they include the people in the decision-making uh, of who uh, leads their institutions. And it is our philosophy that only in the hands of the people will our education system be safe. Um, how concerned are you, uh, are you all, that open enrollment is going to be one of the casualties of this reinvention? Uh, we're very concerned because if you take out open enrollment, where will the CPS students go to? Um, that's, uh, that's just, it's, 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 it's a plain and simple answer. Uh, uh, there's absolutely nothing wrong with open enrollment. It's, it's the very reason open enrollment exists is because of CPS students. The system is very bad. And, 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 and I don't understand the logic behind uh, taking out a policy that is there to uh, hemorrhage uh, uh, much of the problems that are being caused by the CPS. I mean, if they can just uh, focus their problem on what the real issue is and let city colleges serve its purpose, uh, as opposed to uh, 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 taking an institution and, and tearing it down and, and having discussions about changing names and, 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 and removing the identity of the colleges that, that many, many, many of our past alumni fought very hard uh, 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 to establish. And I think it's just very unfair for people to feel they, they can come in and just change policies that have taken so many years to establish. And, and this you, isn't right. Are you speaking formally for the Student Government Association of Kennedy King? Yes, sir. And, and what about the other uh, student government associations of the other campuses? Uh, we have uh, student government uh, uh, members that actually actively participated in a uh, protest we held April the 15th. Unfortunately, they couldn't be here today, but um, please don't be mistaken. We have support for, uh, from across all campuses. We have uh, presidents and vice presidents of the other student governments that showed solidarity by being present on that day, April the 15th. It's just unfortunate that they couldn't be here today. Uh, uh, but uh, they did send uh, emissaries. And afterwards, we will give a letter to Lance, who is representing the mayor. As a matter of fact, Lance, we can do that. And there are a few other students that are giving yeah, this okay. letter to Lance. Thank you. Uh, Thank we you are much. requesting a meeting with the mayor and the new mayor. Yes. And, uh, that to happen. Okay. Okay, at this time, uh, we have